Testing, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Yo, 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 yo. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Cool, cool. Let's move that over there. There we go. What's going on, guys? So, right now, all we're going to do is going to show you a very quick way how to crack, not crack, maybe bypass, um, multi PSK's um, certificate or its serial number of sorts so essentially all you have to do locate your uh, installation directory of where multi PSK is installed and you're going to make a new folder called user.cod and then inside of the user.cod file what you need to do is whoop, where did that go that didn't work there it is bring him over there so 100, 100 A's, or 101 columns if you just want to read the, the columns if you're in uh, notepad or something, but yeah, um, yeah, so 100 characters, 101 columns, um, save that, that's fine, as long as you have that, the user ID doesn't, isn't important, um, yet, maybe one day we'll fix that up and we'll get that working, but doesn't really matter at this point in time and then what we got to do is we're going to go fire up Ida Pro doesn't really, I'll just go this one doesn't matter which one you use I've found they both work exactly in the same manner for me it doesn't really matter so let's go bang yes okay I feel like I should just do this from the, the, the very get-go um, but that'll take ages I could just edit it now I don't want to edit it so we'll just we'll open up my old one, multi PSK, load the old disassembly, load existing. There we go. So, what we got to do is you want to go up to view. Sorry, you can't see it very well. My theme doesn't seem to work very well. Uh, open sub views, strings. And then when you're in strings, what you want to do is you want to find either one of these Paulo, Paulo Santos or Marco that name whatever it is control F and you can search them up so there you go Paulo Santos there we go um, and then what you want to do double click that and then control X very important CTRL X control X to find the X references and then we want to go to that one of course we do and then what we want to do is we want to go of this function move to the top of it and essentially we stop right there at this um, jump instruction of the very first block of code so F oops, F2 F2 on that jump of zero and we run it so once we run it boom we stop here and then what we want to do is just zoom out. You can push control and mouse wheel to zoom down faster. And then you want to go back down and find this section right near the bottom. So there's the bottom, just little tiny bits up. We've got these two code blocks here with the, that guy's name in it. What we want to do is we want to click on this and then we want to um, right, well, right click on it, sorry. And then we want to set the IP to there and then um, play. So once we, put, we hit play, let it do its thing. There we go. We're now open. Obviously, now we've got about no longer. Yeah, we've got an actual user. We're not longer like for, um, the free free version or whatever it's called. Open up on this one, and then you go eight what well, cars for instance. Um, and then for instance, we go to um, what is it called? SDR Sharp. Open up that. I can't remember what frequency it was that we were on, but 131. Okay, whatever. Airband. Yeah, airband. Fine. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Let's move it up. Offset a bit. Zoom out. And yeah, done. It'll work forever. Oh, you have to every time you close it, you have to do that again. But essentially, if you set a breakpoint in that, and then when you um 
So now that'll that'll work indefinitely. It's like I could sit here and demonstrate it if you really wanted me to, but you know, waste of time. It works. So um, let's close this now. Yeah, close this now. Yes. And then obviously when you click on the um, if you've set the breakpoint right here, that's all you need to do. All you have to do then is close, pack database, don't click anything else. OK, it saves the database. So then when we want to go to Ida, back to Ida, run as administrator. That's one of the requirements, yes. Open him up. Yep. And then we go back to uh, that, open the previous, load the existing one, and it'll bring us back straight to that. And then we hit play, stops us straight at that instruction. Boom. Zoom out, go down, go to the bottom to Paulo, set IP at there, right click, set IP, play. Boom, wait. Waity, 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 waity. There we go, open again. Then we can go RX, TX screen, fully open. We can use everything. Uh, working on ADSB, but I think that there's something to do with the type of radio and the type of connection. But otherwise, um, it should work. And that's the same as this one. If we had my um, SDR connected properly, it would that would not show up. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone's got any uh, information on that ADS-B one for us, let us know and we'll get that sorted out. And, but other than that, peace out. And, um, yeah, have fun, fellas.